big viper it's been a minute since i dropped a classic lockchester stories episode so here we are today now i've been wanting to do a thorough video about the north side for a while but i have been waiting for like a few reasons but in my opinion as far as the music goes the north side artists like deuce vino and half pint are definitely some of the best in rochester but they just never ever drop any music i don't know why but when they were dropping music, their views were looking extremely healthy, like 5K, 10K. That's really good for an artist. But enough about that. Let's talk about every single gang that's on the north side. So the border of the north side is Driving Park Ave and everything under Driving Park Ave until you hit about Lyle Ave consists of a lot of the north side. Now the north side sticks together and there's no beef between each other unlike the east side which is like the lower east and then the east is kind of confusing but the first gang we're going to be talking about as far as the north side goes is 4-1. The real 4-1 not the fake 4-1 which is the New York City 4-1 which is like Kyle Rich, Jen Carter, and Tata who was stole the name 41 from the real 41 that is in Rochester, New York. But the real 41 consists of Deuce Vino, Half Pint, and the guys in FGE like FGE Radoc and FGE Melly to name a couple. 41's territory is Edgerton Park and Tacoma Park. And as far as the music goes, Deuce Vino and Half Pint were carrying the music at one point, like I said at the beginning. And both of them have videos with over 10,000 views. Next up, we got 400, who is very close with 41 and mainly consists of Deuce, a fallen member named Dottie and a lot of other street dudes who we will not be talking about because they're actively putting in pain and they're incognito. 400's territory is around Sante Park which is also very close to the other parks that I already mentioned. Now Deuce was released for a gun charge a few months ago and has been grinding with the music and staying out the way and he recently dropped a song called Dottie World. Now speaking of Dottie, before Dottie passed away, he caught an op lacking in the middle of the mall and made him apologize on camera. Say, say sorry, you said 41. I apologize 41. That is tough, man. That is tough to see. Now, before we get to the next couple of gangs, I want to tell you guys a very fun fact that some of you actually may not even know. Rizzy, who is a West Side rapper who's known for being from Cottage, was a part of the fours at some point, right? You can see in this video right here, he's throwing up the fours, but these days, for some reason, he's throwing them down. Moving on to 954, which consists of Slab G's, CP to Clippa, may you rest in peace, and Worldwide Wink, formerly known as Wink. Now, real quick before I get into like my whole little thing about each of them, I want to say those three names alone are bigger and better than like the vast majority of Rochester as far as rap goes. I don't know. I just kind of came to that realization. There's a lot of competition in Rochester alone. But anyway, 954's territory is J Street and Slab G's and CP to Clipper were a dynamic duo when it came to rap. Those two had a ton of popular songs like Get Back, Go, and What You Heard. And as a side note, they were all shot by Esco Films, one of the best videographers in upstate New York. Things were going well musically, like I said, until CP to Clipper ended up tragically being a victim of gun violence. Worldwide Wink had an insane run before he got locked up and he had a song named Galusha that pretty much hit 200k views which is extremely impressive. These days Wink is still grinding on his music and his latest song he dropped like a fine is called Venting on the River. As for Slab G's he's still grinding with his music and he actually dropped the album July 3rd of this year called Real As It Gets. Next up we got the ones currently bringing the biggest spotlight to the north side and arguably some of the best artists as well I know I've already said that but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We got 731, which consists of Rich Baby, formerly LaFleur two times, but he passed away, Duke of El Wavy, and I'm not sure, but maybe Haiti Baby, who I also like, but is currently locked up on a gun charge. Now, 731's territory is Dewey Ave, and I do want to specify the Dewey Ave in Rochester, not the Dewey Ave in Greece. Now, you already know who Rich Baby is, but if not, I'm going to fill you in real quick. Rich Baby is one of the biggest artists in New York in general, I feel like. Like he's kind of outgrown Rochester at this point, which is why he started to network with Detroit artists and, you know, artists outside of New York. But when he is in the city, right, he's putting in pain, standing on business, running down on ops, making him panic, all while being on his entrepreneurial grind with his clothing brand.
brand called the note chaser lastly about rich baby i gotta add he recently dropped a project called i'm me next up we got lafleur two times who while he was alive was extremely controversial due to the boys and girls club shooting which he was actually acquitted of but while he was alive he was respected with the music and feared in the streets and i recently saw a clip of him almost pull out the switch on one of his ops who was boldly testing him while he was at the store two lace fronts they put it out as a piece, you just want them for free. Like Make sure you anywhere. come down Isn't to that? Hair Galleria or yeah, like we talked about. Um, Zoe Blizzy, you just got an extra. That's another prize. Like I said, y'all can keep commenting, yeah, whatever y'all want. Yeah, you want as much yeah. prizes as y'all want. These ops, man. Huh? These ops. Yeah. Nah, I got you, bro. Nah, ops. Yeah, people. Nah, nice people. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Sure. Mm -hmm. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hold on, hold on, chill, 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 come on, chill, chill, chill. No, 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 I know, we go outside. Come on, let's go outside. Come on. Nah, sit down. Sit down. Bet. Hold on. Bet. Sit down. Sit down. Bet. You know I ain't with it. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hold on. I got you. I'm about to send him on in a second. I'm about to send him right now. Bet. Moving on to Duke of El Wavy, who was grinding with his music heavy and recently dropped a song called OG Barbara on his YouTube channel. Now, Duke of El Wavy has a really good work ethic. I would definitely give him that. But that is it. That is everybody on the north side, the whole north side. I would be extremely surprised if there's anything I miss in this video because, I mean, I'm sitting here editing this and I'm like, bro, how in the world did I forget the oppas? How the hell did I forget the oppas? It doesn't even make any sense, but resume. I think I did a pretty good job, but I don't know, man. Which north side gang is putting in the most work musically or in the streets? What did I forget, if anything? What should I talk about now? next thank you for tuning in definitely check out my other content if you haven't definitely check out my other content if you haven't definitely check bro shut your bitch ass up. like comment subscribe big viper i'm out man peace